Uh, hello everyone, it has been quite a while, probably too long, uh, since the last Plasma screencast, but at least we're, uh, we're back here again. And a lot has changed since the last time uh, we took a look around uh, KD4 and Plasma. And it's, you know, it occurred to me today, sometimes it's those little things that just make everything better. Uh, I, I noticed the other day in Dolphin, for instance, with the information pane, when you mouse over a, uh, a file and it shows the preview, if the preview is a different size, it actually animates the, the tweening in, in between the two different sizes. That is so very cool. Anyways, Plasma. So today we're going to talk about uh, containments, applet handles, dashboard view, and panels. So in the past, the panel uh, on Plasma was kind of clunky and chunky looking. But as you can see now, we have actual proper panels. Yes, you can have multiple panels. We don't have the UI for that yet, the configuration dialog, but that is coming. Um, but as you notice here, we've got nice rounded uh, handle uh, handles on the on the panel. So, and if you make it full screen, then of course these disappear. We don't want to completely violate Fitz law. Um, but this is something that we couldn't do before. And if you notice, if I put this window in behind, that the border here is actually translucent. So the uh, system tray is actually mostly working. Uh, things are coming together finally. There's still some issues like the taskbar needs um, love. That's something I'm working on this week. So containments, what are those? Well, there was a, a couple of issues with Kicker and K-Desktop and KD3. Um, if you've listened to the previous screencast, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, and one of them was that it, there was a certain level of inflexibility. For instance, Kicker always had one panel. There's one panel you could not get rid of. And with K-Desktop, while you could like render pictures and whatnot in the background uh, from programs, it was somewhat limited in the sense that you can only display. Uh, people really wanted to be able to change these things and, and do you know wild and crazy and cool things. So what we what we decided to do in Plasma is to create this concept of containments. And if I if I zoom out really quickly here, I'm just gonna move this out of my way. This is a containment right here, and I could have multiple of them. The panel is also a containment. Um, you don't see it when I zoom out because it's actually in negative space. And by default, you get one of these per screen that you have. So if you have Zenrama, you get two or three, or however many screens you have, plus one for the panel. And the act of creating panels or creating new containments is simply saying, hey, I want a new containment, and you say, of what sort? Now, what's neat is that containments are themselves just plasma applets uh, with some extra added little benefits, such as being able to render into the background. So this clock applet right here, for instance, it can actually be your background. Um, it's a containment. So because Plasma is all about clocks, as we know, uh, you could set this clock as your, your containment and you get a full screen uh, analog clock instead of just a little one. So if you notice here, as I've been mousing over, that there's these new little fade-in um, uh, handles. And this gives people you know, quick, easy access to configuration, resize and rotate, as well as closing. Uh, you still have right-click menus um, if you wish to use those instead. but you can also use the items on the side. And this create, gives us the ability to have a really standard interface and some give you a big target to, to uh, drag on uh, as well. And the resize and rotate is kind of neat because you just click and drag and then you you know make it bigger and rotate it or whatever and it does snap to the 90 degrees so it's easy to get it back to normal. And then once you're done, it re-renders the, the applet. So it's really easy now and this is standard, every applet works this way. So you can resize and rotate to your heart's content. Now, you notice that in behind Dolphin I do have this guy. And something that people would always ask me is, well, or, or say to me, because they're trying to be clever, right, I suppose, or whatever, it's a, they go, well, you know, you know, having widgets on your desktop, oh, that's okay, but I never see my desktop because I've got windows over it. So what good is that to me? And it was interesting because the first presentation I ever did about Plasma, which was a pitch, really, and there was no code, nothing. This is before KD4 was even started. This is three years ago now and a bit in Ludwigsburg Academy. Um, and in that presentation, I actually mentioned that what I wanted to do was be able to bring the desktop forward in front of your windows. Um, and this was, you know, before, uh, I don't even, I, I hadn't even seen Dashboard at that point with, from uh, Mac or from Apple. I don't even think it was out at the time when we did Ludwigsburg. Anyways, so that was always something I wanted to do. And with Composite, we get this really nice ability to do something like this, where it actually fades in and brings the current containment for that desktop to the front 
and grays out everything in behind. If you don't have composite running, then you just get your desktop background. So you still have this really nice way of getting at your desktop, uh, just not as pretty. So you can zoom in and out. And of course, when you're in this mode, you can still go and you can add new widgets and, and whatnot. Um, but this is a really nice way of, of going back and forth between your containment, uh, your desktop. And of course, with multiple containments, you'll be able to choose your containment, zoom out, select a new containment, come back in, so you have multiple sets of, of tools to work with. And when you're in the dashboard view mode, if you launch an application, if I had file icons or application launchers here, if you click on it, then the dashboard automatically recedes back into the background uh, once again. So that too is, is uh, pretty cool. Um, panels are also containments, as I mentioned earlier, which brings up the really interesting possibility that you don't have to live with the panel that we give you. Uh, the panel right now is, is SVG themable, exactly the same way that uh, the, the panel applets are. Uh, we won't be using this exact SVG for the final. I just borrowed the one that we're using for, for um, applets for, the time, for right now anyways. That'll be adjusting itself with time. Um, but you can create your own panel and simply set that as a containment for whatever panel you want. You can have, so whereas in KD3 we had custom panels, but they were fairly limited. Now you have the ability to do whatever you want. Anything that you can do on Key Graphics View, you can do uh, in a panel. And you can replace, you know, the main panel with that. So if people want, you know, a, a dock style thing, not a problem. If we're running Plasma on a small form factor device where this is completely inappropriate, we can either get rid of the panel or replace it with something very small and, and, uh, and very basic. Um, this really is the, the whole concept behind Plasma is you know creating a, a framework where we can then create whatever we need to on top of that. Um, we've got you know the start the start menu is coming along quite nicely. Still some uh, rendering glitches, but they're getting weeded out day by day, um, and it's looking nicer and nicer uh, as as that as that time goes on. So. Yeah, that was, uh, I guess, about all I wanted to show today was containments, applet handles, um, dashboards, and panels. Oh, one other thing about containments is because they are full plugins, when you load a containment, you actually can interact with it. So if it has buttons or forms or whatever, you can actually interact with it. And because they're just panels or just applets, like any other thing, and applets can be animated, you can then animate what's going on in the background. You can even use OpenGL, uh, as since we uh, support OpenGL inside of applets as well. So this is really cool. Um, we also have a little uh, plasmoid in a window called plasmoid viewer that Ferrick actually started and so now you can actually run uh, plasmoids in their own windows and if you get rid of the window borders you then have floating plasmoids something that will probably bring um, directly into uh, plasma itself in the future so with that um, I suppose it is about time for yeah that's right cheesy outro music So he's high.